Well, in the town of Orchard Park, residents want action taken to reduce the amount of birds at Green Lake. Residents say they're sick of stepping in goose droppings, and town leaders say it could even be dangerous. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Bueller live in Orchard Park with more on this tonight. Well, Joanna, maybe you're walking like I am, fishing here at Green Lake in Orchard Park or taking pictures for your wedding. Residents tell me make sure you're wearing sensible shoes because you're more than likely going to step in some goose droppings. The town's sick of it. The residents are sick of it. So what is the next step? Well, hundreds of Canada geese find Green Lake and Orchard Park home. But tonight, those geese could be one step closer to finding a new home. I sat down with town supervisor Pat Keem today to discuss discuss the issue. He says Orchard Park has come up with a humane way to get rid of the geese. It's called Away with Geese. They're solar powered lights that flash at night, disturbing the geese during their sleep. So they find another place to fly off and live. Keem says seven solar lights will be installed around the lake. The price $3,000 to take care of this problem. Well, people here at the lake say they're hoping this change will force the geese out. I'd rather see them do that than actually kill them. So I guess it's the lesser of a necessary evil, but I would like it if, if we could uh, do away with the geese. I don't know why they're, why are they here anyway? There's a lot of kids that come down and families come down and across the, uh, the lake over there, uh, wedding parties uh, will take pictures and stuff like that. And it's, it's very messy. Well, people living here tell me even though there are signs posted around the lake that say no feeding the ducks, people still do. Residents believe that could be the reason the geese have felt safe here for so many years. Tonight, there's only about 10 geese you're looking at here, but people say for every two geese there are, there will be hundreds more coming up this summer. So the hope is that these seven solar powered lights will be installed before summer actually begins and some residents can see this problem dissipating. Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News. All right, thanks.